But the other story that yeah. has gripped all of our hearts and has just left us just so anxious for a child. Relief this morning, thankfully, for that missing nine-year-old girl who was found safe in upstate New York. And it was found, the child was found after a ransom note helped crack that case. Let's walk you through mm -hmm. yeah. how this all unfolded, right? So it was Saturday when police put out that Amber Alert for that young girl, for that general area around Saratoga, uh, who vanished while she was riding her bike in that state park north of Albany. After a desperate 48-hour search, police announced late yesterday, the little girl was found. She was found. Mm. And so now, uh, this morning, actually, we're getting a closer look at the man charged with her kidnapping. That's 47-year-old Craig Nelson Ross Jr. He allegedly left a ransom note at the girl's home. I believe it was the mailbox there. Mm -hmm. uh, and get this. It was a 25-year-old fingerprint on the note that led authorities right to him. A wow. database identified him from a crime uh, nearly about 25 years ago. I believe it was a driving yeah. uh, infraction, infraction. Or DWI, yeah. DWI, yep. The governor spoke last night about where the little girl was found. After some resistance, the suspect was taken into custody, and immediately the little girl was found in a cabinet. In a cabinet, in a camper behind that suspect's home. It's just an incredible moment here, too, where friends and family members attending a vigil for that little girl last night cheered as they learned in real time oh. that that girl was found and, and soon to be reunited with her family. But guys, you know, this, we talked about it yesterday here at 10. Everybody has been talking about it. All the parents I know Absolutely. have been talking about it. It was really nauseating to think what could have happened. The, the police were called about 15 minutes after the, the parents learned that something happened. From what we understand, there was a group of friends at the state park. Mm -hmm. She was riding her bike with the friends and yep. she said you know what I'm nine years old let me do one more lap around as a big girl you know let me go by myself one more lap around she went around and then nobody saw her they found her bike and so that set off this amber alert and as a parent it's just the worst feeling you and hundreds of law enforcement came out is yeah. safe a lot of our families who who um, live in the city yeah. go out there to a camp environment to, camp environment, to allow them to play your child right. could have that right. kind of freedom. I get it. right that's the reason especially here in the city you think you know to go in the country and you let them ride their bikes and mm -hmm. be kids and in this case you just never think this would this and would happen. sometimes things happen that you cannot control but I know that everybody sitting at home you know with children is thinking mm -hmm. What do I do? What, and maybe it's just the right time to have the conversation again. Yeah. What are you guys going to do in your family? We've told, and I think that you said the same story. Mm -hmm. We told Shayla that if she's ever confronted by a stranger and she feels unsafe to scream as loud as possible. There was actually a story by Ariel Reshef that I showed her, mm -hmm. a little girl doing just that, and that had a profound impact on her. I felt so bad having to show that to her. Yeah, yeah. But because there's that. The, the right. real anxiety. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the, unfortunately, it's 2023, and that is the world we live in. You have to teach kids that that's what, and, and of course, this is not anything new, but I think in, in this day and age, you have to, unfortunately, as a parent, think about all those worst case scenarios, even up there. We have no idea the circumstances other than what we know so far with this particular case. We know this guy has been charged with first degree kidnapping. It appears the little girl is in good physical health, yeah. but psychologically that has to be traumatic Massive. and we'll see what happens. We'll follow the case. Stay but on it, top of it. Yeah. yeah, but it's a conversation, like you said, Sam, and Maybe I think we all talk about it. just the time to reminder, have that conversation again. Reminder, just no matter yes. what happened, this could happen. And so, yeah, you got to be mindful of it, but thank God she's all. I know. Yeah. Can't get yeah. over it.